in this video i am going to talk one important topic spark sql right using a data frame it is very important because if you have any csv data or any text data how to manipulate those data how to receive the data how to filter the data how to do the data uh, uh, engineering on those csv with the help of the data frame and it is the actually the spark sql so in this video i am going to do the code from scratch i will take one csv and do step by step and i will also explain why we should not use the rdd why i should use the data frame what is the data frame those things i will be explaining this video in my previous video i have already explained what is the rdd how to create the rdd what is the action what is the never transformation what is the white transformation so i would recommend please visit all those video and if you have not installed the spark so please follow my videos uh, you can um, with the help of that videos you can also install the uh, spark and please don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, i will be posting many more videos on the spark and the uh, data science i create one new jupyter notebook and uh, what i will do i will take one small csv uh, to show all the demo here so i have already one csv in my uh, path so i have one book.csv you can see i have one csv file in this uh, the same path where my code is there and if you want to see uh, first data so this is the data right so five six we got out there so how i can read the csv in the spark for the further uh, data uh, engineering or the machine learning to remove the column to remove the rows how we can do so we have the two option either we can use the uh, rdd or you can use the data frame so first let me explain why rdd is not good uh, solution to manipulate the csv data so as you know to start the work on the uh, spark we need the spark contest and that is the actual interface or gateway to talk the spark engine right so let me first uh, create one spark or this one so for that we need some required input uh, required uh, right so you have to import some file here then do this one so now spark contest is ready right so what i will do i will fetch the data through the spark contest and uh, as you can see the data is on uh, and the type of data if you see this is the rdd right this is rdd and now once you got the data in rdd now you can do whatever you want it will show the first data and uh, uh, but if you see the data data is the uh, so if you see the data data is a comma separated but it's very tough for us to separate the data in the comma right so or if you take uh, if you take the five datas you can do the for each and you can show the data but uh, it's very tough to maintain all those things to do the operation because it's showing the very data in the raw format right and if and you have to split the data you have to do everything to splitting the data with the comma with the help of the split method and you have to show the data so it's very difficult so what is the easiest example uh easiest way to do that so easiest way to do that is the spark sql so what is the spark sql actually so you can give any kind of source of data in the spark sql and in return it will give the data frame data frame is just equivalent of the database rdbms one table so where you will have the column and the row and you can do all the operations selection projections condition where clause everything you can use that so that's why this is the very uh, important so then what is the difference between the rdd and the uh, data frame so rdd uh, is a very fundamental data structure and it is just take the data as a data without doing any formatting any uh, extra uh, um, functionality but if you take the data frame that is part of the spark sql it will be data organized in the name column right as we have used to have in the uh, in the database so that's why uh, this is the very important uh, you should work on that 
but now thing is that how to fetch the data data format in the csv so for that you have to use the spark session so i will have used to create the spark contest if you see that this is the spark contest but now we have to use the spark session or the spark sql contest in any way you can create the data frame of the incoming data so if you use spark session this is unified entry point of the spark application and that is applicable uh, available only for the spark 2.0 so how we can uh, create the spark session right so what you have to do you have to import this file and you have to do that spark session builder and you can give the master and that the uh, anything uh, any name you can give that right and important thing is that get or create if it is there it will get otherwise it will create now we got the spark spark actually is the is the spark session if you want to see the uh, what is the spark here it will show the spark session so now we have the spark session now we can do anything right so what i am doing i am going to read the same book dot csv what in doing that important thing is that when you do the read the dot csv spark dot read dot csv because the format is csv but you are free to use anything json xml rdd and hive rdms data right in this case you are going to use the csv so use the csv you have to pass the file name header is equal to true means if you want to keep the header what is in the in the csv to maintain for the further operation on the column wise you should make the true and the schema is true to that the uh, 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 that the data set automatically they will take if you data in number they will automatically convert into the number data type if the string they will string the string right and one another method is there print schema it will print the schema what is the schema of your csv so let me execute important now you can see we have the book under school df i have given df for the data frame and these are the schema so these are the columns are there in the um, in the book.csv right so what i will do uh, uh, some other ways also there to see the columns here what we do if i just show you to the books.df you can see that this is data frame okay and now if you execute the it will show all the column and if you want to see how many columns are there so just uh, use the rent method it will pass how many columns are there right so these are the useful uh, methods when you do that right and let me uh, import one more csv for because the, for the eg uh, examples so what i will do uh, that file name is the rating so yeah so file name is the rating.csv and i use the header and the info schema as i explained you and now if you check the uh, if you want to print the um, schema right so ratings dot print schema so it will show all many so we have just three column book id user id and rating this is just an example you can use the anyone okay so now let me show the use the first command here so it will show the first record okay and now we can use the uh, show method also we got so five right but did you notice that what is the difference between uh, 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 this so and we have the ratings dot head difference is that it will return as a list right and it will return here is the table format so this show is the more useful and convenient to use that so now if i do the show it is showing all the uh, um, the columns but if you want to show only few columns then what you have to do i don't want to see all the three columns i want to just see the uh, two columns book id and rating so the way you used to do in the database table right select column one dot column two from table the same thing you can see that your df name 
select which are the column you want and how many data you want right so now you can see only two columns is coming right waiting one waiting two okay now how to use the we have command means if you have the database how you should do select a stick from and where right the condition the same thing you can do here right waiting filter if you use the filter and give the condition so condition the column name is the waiting and this is the condition and show it is showing the this one right so now if you want to apply the both so what you have to do i want to i don't want to see all the columns with the where condition so what you have to do you put this and here you can put the condition so this is the beauty of the spark sql right so it will now it is showing only two column with that condition right this is the way we can do that and if you want to know what is the how many counts are there so you can do rating dot use the dot count so it will give the count and just use this uh, it will show in the with the message how much count is there right and if you want to go the how many distinct count are there with this in the csv we got so you use uh, this one a distinct uh, distinct uh, method it will give the distinct data count right so in the rating total number is a 99 rack at 1000 but the unique value is a uh, 53424 right and that uh, now if i want to know what is the uh, count of all the ratings that has in more than three or equal three so you can put the condition also with the count it will give that the count right so now if you one important method is there describe what it does so if you give the book id so for the book id what is the mean median value standard deviation for that column id so it is showing that the uh, uh, for the book id what are the descriptions all the aesthetical values so now if you want to give, if you want to for the two columns i want the book id and the rating also right so you can pass the two column also in one shot it will give that now uh, let me take the count again for the ratings so i will introduce new one so count how many counts are there right now i want to remove all the duplicate data i don't want to keep any duplicate data right so for that we have one api that is called a drop duplicate it will drop all the duplicates right so uh, i'm creating new rdd aaa uh, and now if you do the count for our uh, so now actual count was a 9 rack 81000 but here is the uh, 9 rack uh, 80000 means almost 1000 data you duplicate we can uh, remove that with, with this way right and another way is that uh, if uh, if you have the some null data so you can use this uh, api drop na so it will delete all the row with all the null values so they will delete that and it's just giving the counting uh, if you want to do it you can create the new rdd means if you want to put the bbb it will be all uh, uh, waiting without null you can you can do this way so this waiting this rdd will not have the any uh, null values right and uh, uh, thing is that uh, there are the two parameters we can pass this method any and all means any means if any column has the duplicate then remove it and the same thing you can pass the all bit if all the columns has the null for particular record then you delete it right there are the two things there now if i want to go uh, want to know what is the max value for this column so what you have to use you have to use the aggregate method so rating dot df aggregate and give the column name and max max is the aggregate so it will give the max is the five right so in this way you can uh, know the max things and if you want to group by uh, on any particular column how the group by work so i want to know group by rating means you 
uh, you uh, group by all the data with the count with a different kind of uh, different kind of weighting then count it so now it is now you can see that we have the uh, five different count one two three four five and for the each count each weighting we have different five kind of weighting and for the each weighting how many counts are there that you can see that right so either it will use the panda if you don't use the panda you can directly use the same thing if we give the same result right this is other other way to do that now one important thing join so now we have the two csv book csv and the rating csv if i want to join both uh, data frame with the help of particular column id how we can do that so what i did here rating df i want to join with the book df with this condition so if you remember in the rdbms we have to use where two table then table one column equal to table two column you can do the same thing after that i want to get the user id and title see this title is not there in the rating.df it is there in the book.df now i am joining i can get the both thing right so this is how we can do the join and order by order by that if you want to sorting on the particular some columns you can do that so i am sorting on the uh, column rating so now you can see the uh, is uh, showing the uh, order by on the rating right so these are the important api that is used when you do the actual manipulation in this case what i am doing that if you want to see the descending order so in ascending this way descending you have to give the uh, data frame name column name and descending api now if you well, it will show the descending order so ascending or the starting one descending or the five one right so you can do that and if you want to give the rating on the two uh two column if you see here uh here uh book id is not in order right so i want to order on the rating also in the book id also then you have to pass the two parameter so now you can see the rating and the book id both in the column so as per the requirement you can get it now uh, another important thing is that if you want to change something in the column right so if i want to change the value of existing column so what i'm going to do all the rating columns i want to multiply by the 10 as per some business requirement so you can do that now see all the rating had been uh, uh, changed by the 10 factor right now you can create the new column also how to add the new column so instead of that same column name you can give the different column name so i gave the different column name rating 10 <clears throat> now you can see they add the new column here right so this is the way you can add the new column or the uh, different column right so now and how to delete the column right if some certain column you don't want for some your um, data engineering how you can do that so first let me uh, show the how many columns we have we have now i don't want to suppose rating column so you can just delete it now rating column is removed so this is how we can do that and uh, last but not the least if i want to see uh, some uh, distribution of the data in the picture you at the uh, for each rating uh, how many distributions of the rating here you can uh, this way you can uh, do that and uh, that's it for this video please subscribe this video to get more information on the spark.